Hey guys, Francine here at Devoted Danes. Guess where I'm at? The whelping room. We are in labor. We just had our first puppy, a little boy. He's gorgeous, of course. Let's take a look. Mama is taking care of him. He's a big boy too. He is looks like a mantle piebald. I don't know if she's gonna wanna see him. There he is. He's already nursing, which is what you want. He's a good size too. Maybe we can show him. What do you think, mommy? Can we show him? Isn't he beautiful? That's a little boy. He is a mantle piebald, black and white. And he's nursing on his mummy already. He's a big puppy. So she's been in labor, how long, Donald? Since this morning. Yeah, I don't know, I was thinking. Yeah, I since this morning. Uh, well, we woke up this morning, she kind of didn't want to eat. And um, she's been just busy at it since, so. It always is a long time for first labor. He is adorable. Little boy. So we're working on number two. Oh, mama. I know you're keeping an eye on him. Good girl. So puppy number two just came out. It's a little mantle female. How far apart were these guys? Hour. About an hour apart, which isn't bad. So <laughs> she's smaller than her brother, but she's looking at her. She's already looking for something to eat. And Cheska's cleaning her up. Here you go, sweet girl. Isn't she cute? Oh, I love mantles. She's already hunting for something to eat. Think your baby's hungry, mama? There's a girl. Yeah, a little girl. A little mantle. Yes, that's your kid. Good job, mommy. Isn't she cute? She said, lady, I don't want nothing to do with you. I just want to eat. So, boy, girl. And her belly still looks full. <laughs> you cleaning him up already again, mama? Then there was two. Good job, mama. So, as soon as they're born, I try to get them cleaned up sucked out and latched on and as you can see she's already looking to latch sometimes they don't come out as good latchers and you got to work them but she's already look at her she's already on no she's latching on the teeth already she's cute Puppy number three just showed up. It's another piebald mantle boy. <laughs> He's taking a drink already, so which is good. Um, this one was a little bit longer. The other one was about an hour apart. They get exhausted. She's had a bowl of ice, so she's feeling a little bit more energized, but he's a cutie. Look at that. And she just had puppy number four, and it is a little boy. So we have three boys and one girl so far. Um, this one came faster than the other ones, spacing-wise. And she's cleaning them up. She's cleaning them up right now. He's a good size, too. Oh, look at her. She's such a good mama. It's a good girl. You cleaned up all the other kids, too? Tomorrow, whether they want to be clean or not. Come on, Jessica. Okay, She's getting them off. But they're already all latching, so that's good. That's very good. Only one girl so far. So it's been a couple of hours, so I think she's on the second horn. She just had 
this little girl. She's a black girl. So it's two girls now. And mostly boys still. But it's now 2 a.m. and we're still going at it. She started early this morning. Well, when she got up, she started showing signs of labor. So can be long. Okay guys, it's now 5 a.m. and we just had puppy number seven. This can take a long time. Um, puppy number six was a little black boy. Uh, he was deceased though when he was delivered. I let Cheska look him over and lick him up and we wrapped him up and we will bury him. It does happen. Um, you know, we do everything we can, but sometimes we do lose stuff. But so far she has, I think mostly little boys, um, two girls, a black girl and a mantle girl, and the rest are little boys. So two little black boys and two piebald mantle boys. And I'm not sure if she's done or not. I did take out my ultrasound earlier around um, puppy number, after puppy number four, cause she took like a, such a long break. I was starting to wonder if she had more, but she did, she just was tired. Um, it happens, you know, they get tired and uh, they just need a break. So it's a little after 5 a.m. And I'm not sure if we're done yet. But these guys are cute. The lighting's not that good because it is only 5 a.m. But here's some little faces. And they're all, the ones that are here are nursing great. Um... So I don't have any complaints. I'm just moving your baby over. And this is the one that was just born. It looks like she's pushing again. So maybe there is number eight. So they are very cute. They're all doing good. They seem very big too. Either that or I just haven't delivered puppies in a little bit. So I don't know. What do you think, Chesk? She don't know either. All right, so we'll see if this is our last one or not. What do you think? I'm tired, are you? Hmm. Hey everybody, so it's basically these guys are 24 hours old. Actually, no, they're two days old today. Yeah, two days old. Sorry, Jessica, I can't keep track. She's doing good. Um, even after they have puppies, they'll go through this panting where they get hot. It's just their, um, their uterus contracting back, and it's kind of normal. So she's actually doing really wood, good. She ended up with seven babies. Um, one passed away. It was stillborn. But the others are doing great. Um, this is a mantle like herself. It's a little girl. Um, the only mantle in this litter, which her last litter, she had numerous mantles and piebalds, but she also had 10, actually 12, and this one she only had 7, so it's a little different. Um, this was the first one born. It's a piebald boy. He's big, too. He was big when he was born, too. When I saw it, I was like, oh, um, maybe there wasn't as many because of how big he was. And then, so he was first born, the piebald boy, then she was born, the mantle, and then we had another little piebald boy born, and then we had um, four blacks were left that were born, um, a little boy, which I don't know which one's which here, there's um, two boys and a girl, but they're eating, mama just got 
her bedding cleaned up and they're eating and um, so we have a boy and two girls excuse me two boys and one girl so there's only two girls one black one mantle and the rest are little boys and the one that passed was also a little boy so it was boys rule this litter but Cheska did great she whelped them all herself her and I and you know my husband he helps a lot um, she did great uh, last night yesterday was her first night with them and um, she was good we monitor her first 24 hours but she is a seasoned mother so um, and we were exhausted anybody that's ever labored puppies know how exhausting it is because it's not just the actual birthing of them um, it's the waiting in between you know like I when she had four I thought she was almost done because um, it had been like a two-hour gap which isn't alarming in Great Danes at least not from what I have personally done but I started to wonder so I took out the ultrasound and I did see more I saw a few more so I was like oh no she's got more and that's when all the little her little black beauties were born um, some of them do have a little bit of a white tip tail this one does and this is the girl the girl has a little white tip tail um, this little guy doesn't and this little guy doesn't so the little boys don't have to point tip tails but they do have white on their chest like the traditional black and they do have little little bit of white on those toes um, but I these are the colors I anticipated uh, her last letter she did have a fawn pie ball but she didn't this time um, she's been very good with the puppies and um, I'm pleased everything went well everything was smooth as planned um, you couldn't I couldn't ask for a better whelp um, she did great and she did go in and out of potty for a couple times she's been eating her thing is tuna fish she likes tuna fish um, normally we give them like hoodsy cups and we give them um, milk she doesn't really like stuff like that she liked ice chips and she loves uh, tuna fish so we've been giving her some tuna fish over her food and she's been eating good so that's good and drinking well she's always been a good drinker but these little guys are so cute I'm gonna we do we will have openings available puppies from this litter so um, we have we'll have some boys and the, some girls available and then Oh my gosh, look, she's got his little foot in her mouth. He did, Mom, I'm a munder here. It's funny, so a lot of times she'll put her head down on him and just smell her babies. She did good last night with her babies. She was in here unattended with her babies. We do have a couple of cameras to watch her, and we are not very far from her, um, this whelping room. That's why we picked this whelping room. But all is well here I'm gonna get collars on the pups and um, go down our deposit list our waiting list um, <laughs> she's so cute she's such a good mummy look at her she's got her head on I'm just enjoying her babies these guys are one of them they kind of uniquely marked Piebalds usually are that's his little face He's been trying to eat. Isn't he cute? He's a little chubby guy too. Oh, he's tired. Been eating. She's she's um she's a little bit smaller, but not just from him. But they're all pretty good size. That's look at the little legs, the little butts and legs hanging out over here. The lighting is not as good as it should be in here, but I can see his little body. So. Can we see you, little baby? This is a little boy. You get him. He's cute. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. What a little darling. But all is well here. I'm kind of excited about this litter, too, because they're going to be able to go outside and play this year. The, they're born at a perfect time um, 
they'll be able to go out and explore. What's this one? This is the other little boy. Oh, he's busy. He said, I gotta go see my mom. I know, whoops, he's slippery too. Sorry, I'm just seeing him. He said, don't bother my kids. <laughs> Another thing with this litter, they all great latchers. I don't have any puppies that I'm worried about. And this is normally when you would know like, oh, this is puppy small and it doesn't latch well. That's usually not a good sign. But the, all these puppies were literally latching and eating before too long. And a good thing about <clears throat> having six puppies is that I don't have to um, uh, feed them. Just they're good with their mother. She has plenty of milk for seven puppies. So no supplementing. That makes it a little easier. But she's been a great, look at that little tail. eaten but um, when you do have seven you do have to worry about making sure mom flips over every time she does come in so they're making sure they're draining each side of her teats so if the, she always comes in and lays on this side and they just drink from these we could get prone to mastocytis so I made sure we make sure that when she gets up into the bathroom we kind of feel her teats to make sure that they feel soft and smushy still instead of hard and like a rock if they do you're gonna have issues so but she's been doing great so she comes in I kind of coax her on what side I need her to sit down on but she really is quite content just being in here and being with her pups so a little background about Cheska for anybody new um, is we have her mom Nala Nala is our Meryl um, and she is now retired and we are going to have Nala spayed and hopefully we can find a nice retirement home for Nala because Nala is super great. She's good around everybody. She really doesn't have any um, bad quirks. Um, she'd be great. She likes kids. She likes other dogs. She gets along great with Cheska. She goes out with Farley and Ebby, um, which are her mother and father. So I have Cheska's mother uh and i have cheska's grandparents still so um that's what we've been kind of doing lately is if we have a retiree and we feel like they would be suited for another home we kind of like to do that because we do have m multiple dogs here and um you know in your olden age you just want something a little bit quieter and more settled and especially for the boys the boys if they're spayed or neutered they don't want to be around a bunch of um females in heat so that is our plan uh, we probably won't do it right away we'll probably want to get these guys squared away but nala will be um it was always our intention to spay her and i'm hoping maybe that i can find a good retirement home for her because she's a great girl and um um, she's definitely retired and I think she'd fit in great with anybody, but, um, but when we do like for our, our older days where we home them, you know, it's, we'd like to make sure we really know the families or are very comfortable with, hold on a second. We have somebody trying to look for something in the wrong area. Um, we like to make sure we're i know that was your baby back there he didn't realize that wasn't that wasn't okay you're all set um we like to really kind of get to know the families or they have one of our danes so we kind of like to go there um and we have placed a couple of ours into families that we feel comfortable with it's usually somebody within you know that's local or within you know a few hours of driving so if something does occur and they need to come back um they can always come back um the problem with them going far away is if there's issues that i'm worried that i won't be able to um you know help out and get them back but um the thing too like when you're taking in uh a rehome dog whether it be one of ours or if you're getting one is you have to give them time to adjust um, it's a lot of new things for them they're used to you know our schedule our routines who we have here what we have for visitors so 
you know, it's kind of a let them give them time to initiate their new routine with a new owner who they have at their family if they have children like we don't have children here all the time we do have grandkids that come in and all of our Danes are great with the grandkids so it's just a difference and I try to place them in kind of a home that's similar to ours so and with the exception of not having multiple dogs um, and I when I mean multiple dogs I just mean many multiple dogs like most of the ones that we did place do go to homes with that already have a Dane or a friend but um, we have multiple ones so here so I don't most of them and if if it was a situation where they you know had a hard time with other dogs I would obviously make everything crystal clear of what I think or perceive them as uh, good and bad and what to look out for but that's just getting off on a tidbit here but um, that's our future but these guys are doing great um, we still should have a breeding with Violet coming up in August when she goes into heat and we will be using Grizzly and then some of our other ones will be early spring for breeding and I may dabble, dabble into um, using some different studs I'm not sure yet so but we'll see um, how that goes look at this little guy's climbing his mummy where you going mister should I get my mummy get your mummy yes you got a good mummy so these guys are doing good hey everybody so it's basically these guys are 24 hours old actually no, they're two days old today. Yeah, two days old. Sorry, Jessica, I can't keep track. She's doing good. Um, even after they have puppies, they'll go through this panting where they get hot. It's just their, um, their uterus contracting back, and it's kind of normal. So she's actually doing really wood, good. She ended up with seven babies. Um, one passed away. It was stillborn. But the others are doing great. Um, this is a mantle like herself. It's a little girl. Um, the only mantle in this litter, which her last litter, she had numerous mantles and pie balls, but she also had 10, actually 12. And this one, she only had seven. So it's a little different. Um, this was the first one born. It's a pie ball boy. He's big too. He was big when he was born too. When I saw it, I was like, oh, um, maybe there wasn't as many because of how big he was. And then, so he was first born, the piebald boy. Then she was born, the mantle. And then we had another little piebald boy born. And then we had um, four blacks were left that were born. Um, a little boy, which I don't know which one's which here. There's um, two boys and a girl, but they're eating. Mama just got her bedding cleaned up and they're eating. And um, so we have a boy and two girls, excuse me, two boys and one girl. So there's only two girls, one black, one mantle, and the rest are little boys. And the one that passed was also a little boy. So it was boys rule this litter, but Cheska did great. She whelped them all herself, her and I, and you know, my husband, he helps a lot. Um, she did great. Uh, last night, yesterday was her first night with them. And um, she was good, we monitored her, her first 24 hours, but she is a seasoned mother, so. Um, and we were exhausted. Anybody that's ever labored puppies know how exhausting it is, because it's not just the actual birthing of them. Um, it's the waiting in between, you know, like I, when she had four, I thought she was almost done because, um, it had been like a two hour gap, which isn't alarming in Great Danes, at least not from what I have personally done. 
but I started to wonder. So I took out the ultrasound and I did see more. I saw a few more, so I was like, oh no, she's got more. And that's when all the little, her little black beauties were born. Um, some of them do have a little bit of a white tip tail. This one does, and this is the girl. The girl has a little white tip tail. Um, this little guy doesn't and this little guy doesn't so the little boys don't have to point tip tails but they do have white on their chest like the traditional black and they do have little little bit of white on those toes um but i these are the colors i anticipated uh her last letter she did have a fawn pie ball but she didn't this time um she's been very good with the puppies and um, I'm pleased everything went well everything was smooth as planned um, you couldn't I couldn't ask for a better whelp um, she did great and she did go in and out of potty for a couple times she's been eating her thing is tuna fish she likes tuna fish um, normally we give them like hoodsy cups and we give them um, milk she doesn't really like stuff like that she liked ice chips and she loves uh tuna fish so we've been giving her some tuna fish over her food and she's been eating good so that's good and drinking well she's always been a good drinker but these little guys are so cute i'm gonna we do we will have openings available puppies from this litter so um look she's got his little foot in her mouth he said, Mom, I'm a under here. It's funny, so a lot of times she'll put her head down on him and just smell her babies. She did good last night with her babies. She was in here unattended with her babies. We do have a couple of cameras to watch her, and we are not very far from her, um, this whelping room. That's why we picked this whelping room. But all is well here. I'm going to get collars on the pups and... Um, go down our deposit list, our waiting list. Um, <laughs> she's so cute. She's such a good mummy. Look at her, she's got her head on them, just enjoying her babies. These guys are, one of them, they're kind of uniquely marked. Piebalds usually are, that's his little face. He's been trying to eat, isn't he cute? He's a little chubby guy too, he's tired of eating. She's, she's, um, she's a little bit smaller, but not just from him, but they're all pretty good size. That's, look at the little legs, the little butts and legs hanging out over here. The lighting is not as good as it should be in here, but I can see his little body. So. Can we see you, little baby? This is a little boy. You get him. He's cute. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. What a little darling. But all is well here. I'm kind of excited about this litter, too, because they're going to be able to go outside and play this year. They're born at a perfect time. Um, they'll be able to go out and explore. What's this one? This is the other little boy. Oh, he's busy. He said, I gotta go see my mom. I know. Whoops. He's slippery, too. Sorry. I was just seeing him. He said, don't bother my kids. <laughs> Another thing with this litter, they all great latchers. I don't have any puppies that I'm worried about. And this is normally when you would know, like, oh, this is puppy small and it doesn't latch well. That's usually not a good sign. But the, all these puppies were literally latching and eating before too long and a good thing about <clears throat> having six puppies is that I don't have to um, uh, feed them just they're good with their mother she has plenty of milk for seven puppies so no supplementing that makes it a little easier but she's been a great look at that little tail eaten but um, when you do have seven, you do have to worry about making sure mom flips over every time she does come in. So 
they're making sure they're draining each side of her teats. So if the, she always comes in and lays on this side and they just drink from these, we could get prone to mastocytis. So I made sure, we make sure that when she gets up into the bathroom, we kind of feel her teats to make sure that they feel soft and smushy still instead of hard and like a rock. If they do, you're gonna have issues. So, but she's been doing great. So she comes in, I kind of coax her on what side I need her to sit down on. But she really is quite content just being in here and being with her pups. So a little background about Cheska for anybody new um, is we have her mom, Nala. Nala is our Meryl. Um, and she is now retired. And we are going to have Nala spayed. And hopefully we can find a nice retirement home for Nala because... Nala is super great. She's good around everybody. She really doesn't have any um, bad quirks. Um, she'd be great. She likes kids. She likes other dogs. She gets along great with Cheska. She goes out with Farley and Ebby, um, which are her mother and father. So I have Cheska's mother. Uh, and I have Cheska's grandparents still. So... Um, that's what we've been kind of doing lately is if we have a retiree and we feel like they would be suited for another home, we kind of like to do that because we do have m multiple dogs here and, um, you know, in your olden age, you just want something a little bit quieter and more settled and especially for the boys, the boys, if they're spayed or neutered, they don't want to be around a bunch of, um, females in heat so that is our plan uh, we probably won't do it right away we'll probably want to get these guys squared away but Nala will be um, it was always our intention to spay her and I'm hoping maybe that I can find a good retirement home for her because she's a great girl mm -hmm. 